Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can handle radio buttons in your Selenium WebDriver code. So uh, in the previous tutorial, we have seen how you will handle the checkboxes and how you can figure out uh, the number of checkboxes on uh, the page. And then we have uh, also seen in the very beginning tutorial that uh, how you can verify whether the checkbox is selected or not. So there is a is selected uh, method that you can use. So in this case, uh, say for example, uh, we want to verify whether after clicking this particular checkbox, whether that checkbox is selected or not. So what we'll do is we'll simply, uh, you know, call the is selected uh, method right and this will return either true or false based on the selection of the checkbox so is selected method is very important in case of uh, the checkbox and radio button and we'll see that in action as well so let me save this and um, what we'll do is in order to demo the radio button we'll simply copy this uh, checkbox code and uh, paste it and we'll rename it to radio uh, button demo all right and now what we'll do is we'll use another uh, website in this case so if you go to this particular website uh, singaporeair.com you'll see there are three radio buttons okay so why i'm using these you know the actual sort of website wherever possible just to show you uh, the real applications that will be available uh, to you when you are actually doing testing and how you can you know like handle because all the test websites are uh, you know coded in very simple way you will find all the id and you know the unique locators very easily so uh, when when you browse through these website and try to work on these websites which are actually in production then you'll find a lot more information uh, and you'll you'll find a lot better learning as compared to just practicing on the demo or test website so let's uh, get this particular url and we'll open this url uh, and then this uh, up to this line it will maximize that particular window so we don't need this actions uh, in this case because if you see that uh, check uh, the radio buttons are pretty uh, up high higher up so we don't need to scroll so i will be removing that code and we'll be covering more on actions um, class later so now uh, similar to checkboxes what we have to do is we simply have to first you know find the locator for the radio button so i'll remove all that code so to find the locator you simply if you just right click on uh, the radio button click on inspect element and it will highlight that particular radio button right so you'll see that it has the id book flights um the value and uh, the name as well right and if i go to the other radio button you will see the other one has the unique id as well okay and the name as well so book flight radio and what, what is the name for this one um let me just right click and click on inspect so name is common across i believe all three radio buttons but id is unique right so this is book flights and then this is redeem flight and if we go to this uh, the third one it is a uh, book flights and hotel right so we can use id safely here um, in order to identify this particular checkbox okay so let's use id so the first um, thing that we are going to do is we want to find this particular web element so we'll say driver dot find element by id and provide the id string there sorry so we'll simply provide the id okay and now let's store it in the um, web element uh, variable so if you see the return type is web element so we'll say um, web element and we'll store it into the radio 
one this is the first radio button right so we'll store that into the radio one variable which is our web element type now we can call methods on this radio one button right so we can simply say dot click okay and what this click will do is it will select that particular radio button for us okay then after clicking we want to verify whether the button is already selected so what we'll call which method we'll call we'll say radio one dot is selected okay and now what this is selected will return it will return either true or false based on the selection so let's print it on the screen and see that after the selection what uh, whether the selection has been successful or not okay so just two or three lines you will be able to select the radio button and verify whether the radio button is selected or not let's run this code and see that it works all fine so don't worry about this error it's uh, it's the old error so i'm not using the driver close so that's why so it's opening the website and you can see that book flights uh, is selected and if we go to the you can see that it has written true for the selected one thing i want to check is if i go to this particular website i believe this um, book flight is by default already checked right so when we click on it again it so let me reload it yeah so this is by default checked all always right when the page loads so in this case uh when i refresh the page again the third radio button is no more visible the hotel option right so what we'll do is instead of uh, selecting or clicking on this default one let's click on this redeem flight radio button so it will uh, display this pop-up so uh, let me inspect the second radio button and we'll uh, click on this second radio button so let me click on it and just right click inspect element and here you'll see that this is the type radio and redeem flights is the id okay so we will simply store uh, the second radio button into radio 2 uh, variable of web element type so we'll say web element radio 2 and we'll simply copy the whole part here and replace the id with redeem flights okay so now instead of uh, selecting radio one we'll say radio two dot click and we'll verify that uh, the radio one is not selected anymore with the method is selected and then we'll see uh, whether radio two is got selected right so we'll use radio two dot is selected so this should return true and the first one should return false in this case so we'll save it and run the code again so it should uh, this time it will click on redeem flights you can see that it has clicked on redeem flights okay and uh, this login pop-up uh, came up let's go to the console and now you can see radio 1 is selected return false because radio 1 is no more selected because we clicked on radio 2 once we um, launched that particular page and then radio 2 is selected return uh, is selected method for radio 2 return true so this uh, validates that radio 2 got selected successfully so that's how you will handle radio buttons on any web page. The next important thing that you might be required in your test cases is to basically find uh, how many radio buttons are displayed on a page or, or present on the page, right? Or in any particular section of the page. 
So similar thing as we did for uh, the uh, finding the URLs on the page, uh, total number of URLs or uh, finding the, you know, uh, elements in the drop down. So similar concept you can utilize in finding the total number of radio button in a particular section or on the total page. So for example, uh, what you need to do is there is a method that we have seen that find elements and when when we say find elements it will return the elements that match that particular um, you know locator so first thing is to basically find all the elements of that type is to find the common attribute or common locator that is common across all those type of web elements so for example in this case uh, you have these two radio buttons so what we have to do is we have to first uh, you know identify what is common across these two radio buttons okay that are visible on this particular page so uh, if you just you know right click and inspect the radio button you will see the type radio is sort of common okay so if we simply uh, write you know uh, an expat something like uh, at type is equal to radio and hit enter um sorry it is uh, single quotes here yep and we'll change it to single quotes and hit enter so you'll see that it shows five one of five but there are not five uh, you know uh, radio buttons that are visible on this page so there might be five which might which might be you know hidden or something uh, which uh, would be available when you click on you know say for example in reading flight you clicked on it and you'll see there is another radio button um and uh, similarly there is you know uh, other uh, radio button that might be hidden on the page so in this sort of scenario what you need to do is you need to basically um, look for the section uh, that you are looking for or say for example in this case these two are visible so you can simply uh, inspect these two radio buttons and see what is common among these two okay so here you can see that name um, book flight radio okay if we uh, just copy this particular name and try to find uh, this book flight radio right so you'll see just two of them are selected right so these two are the radio buttons that are visible and selected right are uh, available on this page so you can use this you know locator so you can simply say i can write an xpath so um, you know forward slash and then uh, we can say uh, star and so this name so we'll say at the rate name is equal to book flight radio All right and hit enter so you'll see that one of two got selected so basically this is the uh, locator that is common between these two radio buttons so what we'll do is we'll simply use these this locator so we'll say driver dot find elements this time right so we'll say find elements by x path this is x path for the radio button and we'll paste the x path and now we can simply call the method right so we can call the method size to find the total number of radio buttons on uh, in this section or page so if it is page you can simply find uh, the, the locator that is common across all the radio buttons on the page and just use size method for that okay and i'll print it on the screen all right so it will return um, the actual size or the number of radio buttons present on the page okay so let me clear it and run this code again and this time it will um, return me the number of radio buttons that are available on the page so it should return um, two radio buttons okay so let's go back and you can see that two radio buttons are available on the page all right so that's how you will handle the radio buttons or uh, you know verify the selection and deselection of the radio buttons on the page and also find the size of or the number of uh, radio buttons present on the page so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching